वेलकम टू पल्स मेडिसिन टाइप्स ऑफ इंजेक्शन दैट हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशन कैन यूज टू एडमिन द मेडिकेशन इन टू पर्सन वेन्स मसल्स स्किन और बॉन ओवर व्यू वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट टाइप्स ऑफ इंजेक्शन इंजेक्शन साइट्स यूसेस ऑफ इच टाइप ऑफ इंजेक्शन इंजेक्शन इट्स एन इन्फ्यूशन मेथड ऑफ पुटिंग फ्लूज इन टू द बॉडी एंड यूजली विद सीरिंज एंड होलो नीडल वाइल इस सीरिंज इज ए मेड अप ऑफ अ होलो ट्यूब एंड अ नीडल दैट इज यूज टू फोर्स फ्लूज इन टू द बॉडी नाउ Types of injection number 1 intravenous number 2 intramuscular number 3 subcutaneous number 4 intradermal number 5 intracardiac number 6 intraarterial number 7 intraocessus Now we are going to explain each one of them their uses injection sites and angles of injection in a person body Now we are going to start with intravenous Healthcare profession use intravenous injection to give medication directly into a vein. Needle enter into a vein at 25 degrees angle. Medicine rapid action by this route. Injection can be given by infusion or directly. Uses are to administer fluid solution and electrolytes to a person experiencing dehydration. Give a local and general anesthesia to people having surgery. Administer pain medication to a person in the emergency room. to give blood or blood products to a person injection sites the back of the hands and the front and the back of the lower arm intramuscular a doctor can use intramuscular injection to deliver medication into a person muscle tissue the muscle suffer rich blood supply which helps the body absorb the medication quickly it's commonly used in administering drugs to a patient who cannot take medication through other commonly used routes Intramuscular is directly enter into deep muscles needle should be put at 90 degrees angle Uses of intramuscular are administering most vaccines for the end of disease control and prevention administering select antibiotics such as penicillin and streptomyces giving corticosteroids for inflammation or allergic reaction injection sites we have the upper outer thigh area muscles and the shoulder muscle and upper arm thus administering intramuscular injections avoid injecting into patient's buttock area to prevent possible damage to the sciatic nerve tenuous injection healthcare profession administer subcutaneous injection into the fatty tissues just below the skin and above muscle tissue they use a small needle to give subcutaneous injection to ensure the medication enters into the fatty tissues and not muscles and like muscle tissue subcutaneous tissue has a few blood vessels according to a 2017 study Injecting a needle on a fatty layer injection angle should be 45 degrees angle and its medicine it very rapidly gets absorbed you also need to be aware of using a target size that has already been used heavily it's used for insulin for diabetes heparin or blood thinners the measles and chickenpox vaccines palliative care pain medication such as pentanil injection sites the outer side or back of the upper arm the front and outside of the upper thigh and the belly area tradamol doctors give intradermal injection just below the surface of the skin creating a small bump called a bleb or a weal The intradermal injection route has the longest absorption time of all the different types of injections. The injection angle of the intradermal should be 10 degrees to 15 degrees angle. Put it on the epidermal layer of the skin. Now, intradermal is used in allergy testing, tuberculosis screening, administration of influenza vaccine uh, the sites of injection you have the thinner surface of the form and the upper back and under the scapula yak it is injected in the heart muscle or ventricles it's only used in emergency conditions Now, the needle is inserted 1 cm to the left of the sphoid process 
and aim toward the left shoulder. The needle may also be inserted parasternally in the left, fourth or fifth intercostal space. The cardiac is used in emergency conditions, such for injection we have the apex of the heart. Intra-arterial Intra-arterial administration of drugs into the carotid or vertebral arteries is another method to improve the efficiency of chemotherapy for brain tumors. Administration is intended to provide a high concentration of drug at a specific site, for example, tumor or infection. Intra-arterial injection also tends to reduce systemic effects as, in, as administration is more direct. So the advantages of intra-arterial is that within regards to the delivery modality of the stem cells, intramuscular delivery allows for the direct placement of the stem cells in the ischemic tissues. Yes, intra-arterial injection may direct cells to viable semi-ischemic areas where there is a greater nutrient supply to maintain stem cell viability. Arterial is used in chemotherapy to deliver high dose chemotherapy into the artery supplying the neoplasm. Injection sites we have the femoral vessels, jugular vein, carotid artery. Intraocessus. It is used in bone marrow in order to reach the veins. The bone marrow has a rich blood supply that connects straight to the circulatory system. A healthcare professional typically reserves intraocessus injection for emergencies. So it is used as the quickest way to give fluids, drugs, and blood products to patients in many emergency situations. Intraocessus is used in severe injuries from an accident or fall, electrocution, a medication overdose, childbirth complication, respiratory distress. The injection sites you have the lower leg bone, the thigh bone, and the upper arm bone.